remember how we landed up here because of phenytoin. Phenytoin was the question, right? <clears throat> so, if phenytoin is the question, uh, why why are they asking phenytoin? Because phenytoin is actually uh, this epilepticus where you are giving it along with um, the benzodiazepines, okay? So, basically, uh, phenytoin is uh, going to be in combination with benzodiazepines and it is used as the first line of drug for status epilepticus. So, that is the reason it could be asked. Now, what and all we have learnt about phenytoin so far? We learnt that it is uh, uh, going to inactivate sodium channels, prolong the inactivation of sodium channels, right? Then what else you learnt? It is a hydantoin, chemically it is a hydantoin. What else did you learn? It is used for the uh, GT, uh, what and all will you use it to treat? Status epilepticus mainly. Status epilepticus is the main thing. For everything else, it is second line of drug only. Like GT, CS, it is second line of drug. Partial seizures or focal seizures, it is uh, second line of drug. Okay. So, this is all you have to remember. It's easy, right? This much you already knew. I'm just telling you again. Look at this uh, table. You will understand where and all phenytoin stands. Generalized tonic-clonic seizures, phenytoin comes uh, second or third to carbamazepine. Simple partial seizures also, phenytoin comes second line. Complex partial seizures also, phenytoin comes second to third line. Then you have status epilepticus, it is actually drug along with benzodiazepines. So, maybe that is why it has been asked. This much you already knew. Now, let us deep dive. Look at the name here, diphenylhydantoin. The other name for phenytoin, it is also called as phenytoin sodium. It is diphenylhydantoin. It is okay. So phenytoin sodium or diphenylhydantoin. It is a hydantoin. It is a not a CNS depressant. It produces mild sedation only, which is a good thing for us. It is a not a CNS depressant. It produces mild sedation only. See, phosphenytoin. Actually, this is something that you have to focus on in the exam. If they ask phosphenytoin or phenytoin, you will write the same answer. Phosphenetoin is the water soluble pro drug of phenytoin. It is the pro drug of phenytoin. So, definitely, whatever you know about phenytoin, you will have to write for phosphenetoin. Okay. And actually, what is given in status epilepticus along with benzodiazepine is phosphenetoin. Why? Because it is uh, less damaging to the intima. Less damaging to the intima. Tunica intima. It is less damaging to the tunica intima. So, just telling you it is a water soluble pro drug, it is less damaging to tunica intima, it can be injected with glucose also. It will cause only minor vascular complications, but still you have to monitor ECG just like phenytoin, okay. Like when phenytoin is given, you will have to monitor ECG, fine. It is IV. Please remember that this is IV. Don't forget this IV. Okay. Let us look at the uses of phenytoin. Phenytoin, I have already told you, it is used in generalized tonic clonic seizures or grand mal epilepsy. Partial seizures, that is simple or complex, or these are also called as together as focal seizures. Status epilepticus, I told you, it is used along with what? Benzodiazepines, remember phenytoin should not be given in glucose. However, phosphenytoin can be given in glucose. Trigeminal and other neuralgias also you can give phenytoin. This is something we have not mentioned. This is a new point for you at the moment. Are you alert? This point is new in this entire session that we have covered so far. Trigeminal and other neuralgias when you are giving phenytoin, it is a new thing. What is neuralgia? Pain. Okay. Pain, that is it. Fine. Good. So, you can, the thing with um, uh, it, uh, with uh, phenytoin is you can give orally also 200 to 400 mg per day you can give. Okay. Status epilepticus, they will give IE. Please remember, orally you can give phenytoin 200 to 400 mg per day. Remember one thing, you will have to give phenytoin after food. After food, when will you give? After food. After you eat nicely, na, give phenytoin. Why? You can minimize the vomiting and nausea if you give after food, it seems. <sighs> Closing this, uh, let us give references. References are Shanbagh textbook and KDT textbook. 
In this video, what and all we have learnt? We learnt about phenytoin. Phenytoin is a hydantoin chemically. It is used first line of treatment in status epilepticus when you are giving it with benzodiazepines. Remember, when you give phenytoin, don't give it in glucose. Okay, should give only in saline. Don't give with glucose if you are giving IV. You can give it orally, however. Orally, however, you can give. And whenever you give IV, make sure you give orally, whatever you take after food, you should take. IV, when you give, you have to monitor ECG. IV, you will give in saline. You have to monitor ECG. Why? Because it can cause vascular complications. Okay? Better give what? Phosphenitoin. Phosphenitoin is better. There are minimal complications. It is water soluble. Though you have to monitor ECG, phosphenitoin is uh, causing lesser complications. Then you can also give it with glucose. Phosphenitoin. Okay? Actually, the reason to monitor ECG in phenytoin is because it has dose-dependent elimination. Okay? Because um, what you should understand here in the pharmacokinetics is that <clears throat> initially in low concentration it will have first order kinetics okay however <clears throat> when the uh, rate of administration increases if you increase the rate of administration the metabolizing enzymes they get saturated and the kinetics changes to zero order so the plasma t half life increases to 60 hours it cannot be degraded right by these metabolizing enzymes so this results in toxicity Hence, you will have to therapeutically monitor phenytoin use, okay. So, that is why monitoring ECG becomes very important in uh, phenytoin. Okay? Hence, car carbamazepine is actually the preferred drug in case of GTCS and partial seizures, if you remember.